Well, good morning. For the most part, both candidates pretty much stuck to their talking points last night. And both men say that they would be the best choice to lead Chicago, especially when it comes to public safety. We spend more per capita on policing than Los Angeles and New York. And the question we have to ask, are we any safer? We're not. Proactive policing is not taking the handcuffs off. Proactive policing isn't mass incarceration. Proactive policing isn't, uh, isn't uh, mass arrests or even stop and frisk. Public safety continues to dominate the campaign for mayor, Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson, and former CPS CEO Paul Vallis both have very different public safety plans with different priorities. Johnson says he wants to promote at least 200 officers to detective and would cut $150 million from CPD's budget. There are people who want to see the police budget defunded. Are, are you one of them? Listen to what I'm saying. Are you Give me an opportunity to answer the question. Okay. I said it was a political goal. I never said it was mine. <laughs> so that's never been your goal. To free up police, Johnson said he would have crisis workers respond to mental health 911 calls and open the city's mental health centers while also funding other victims' programs. Look, I know my political views are different than what we've been accustomed to as it relates to policing. But at the very least, when violence does happen, we have to solve it. Vallis does have some similar ideas to address mental health issues and work on crime prevention. You've got to open those campuses through the dinner or on weekends, over the summer, and over the holidays, and you've got to bring community-based social services to the campuses. Vallis also believes the city needs to get back to community policing. He wants to flood the CTA with CPD. He would fill the depleted department's ranks by recruiting new officers and bringing back the ones who have moved away or retired. The right leadership, the right strategy, the right approach will slow the excess. You can then double the academy size and you can also create conditions that will allow hundreds of officers to return. You can quickly reduce ranks. Now, both candidates have announcements later today to announce some new endorsements. Brandon Johnson says that he has the support of the state attorney general, Kwame Raul. That will be announced at a press conference uh, this afternoon. Paul Vallis has a couple events scheduled for today. And one, he will be getting the endorsement of several city, uh, rather sitting city council members. And also a, another one of the candidates that ran for mayor. We're not quite sure just who that is yet, but all will be revealed later today. For now, we are live at City Hall. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.